This form has no weak points. It works equally well in salt water, on land, and even in boiling sulfur. For millions of years, Earth has been rebuilding life, and he has remained the same. This is the crab, the form the planet could not destroy. Earth has survived five mass extinctions. Five times, life almost disappeared, and each time from ash and mud, the same form returned. Scientists call it carcinization when evolution repeats itself. Different creatures, crayfish, lobsters, shrimp, all became the same thing. A crab. It's not an accident, it's a solution. A solution tested by time, by catastrophe, and by survival itself. Let's see who carries it today, the strangest, the strongest, the most extraordinary crabs on the planet. We travel to Japan to study one of the oldest creatures on Earth, the giant Japanese crab. To see it, we must descend about 300 meters into cold, dark waters where sunlight never reaches and the pressure could crush metal. There, in the silence and near freezing darkness, moves a true giant. Its legs stretch up to 4 meters and it can weigh up to 20 kilograms. It is the largest arthropod on the planet. Its shell is stronger than armor, its joints tougher than steel. It can live for over a hundred years, surviving conditions deadly to most life. When fishermen haul it up from the depths, it looks like a creature from another era. And in a way, it is. Its body has barely changed in 150 million years. A living relic, proof that nature once created a perfect form and never found a reason to change it. We fly further, this time to Chile, to the edge of the Pacific Ocean, where the sea sinks into the deepest trenches on the planet. There, where cracks in the Earth's crust spew boiling water, where temperatures reach 400 degrees and the pressure can crush a submarine, life still exists. Amid clouds of sulfur and streams of minerals lives a strange creature, the Yeti crab, white as if sculpted from snow and ash. Its body is covered with soft hairs and on its claws grow colonies of bacteria. It doesn't hunt or search for prey, it grows its food right on itself, like a farmer harvesting crops in hell. Where others burn or collapse, it calmly moves along the ocean floor, among stones hissing from the heat. Fun fact, it's also called the Hoff Crab, named after actor David Hasselhoff from Baywatch, because of its hairy chest. We fly further, this time to Madagascar, an island where nature lives by its own rules. Here lives the coconut crab, the largest land arthropod on Earth. It can reach one meter across and weigh up to four kilograms. By day, it hides in burrows, but at night it comes out to hunt, climbing trees, raiding nests, attacking birds and small animals. Its claws are strong enough to break a human arm, and it fiercely defends its territory. It breathes air, needs very little water, and can live for decades. A sea creature that conquered the land, Proof that the form of the crab works everywhere. Scientists and locals also call it the robber crab. It steals anything that shines or smells like food. Boots, pots, cameras, even frying pans. The crab's shape is a masterpiece of natural engineering. Its shell works like armor, distributing pressure, protecting vital organs, and withstanding impacts that would kill any soft-bodied creature. Its claws are hydraulic levers. Muscles hidden deep under the shell create a force many times greater than their own size. Even its sideways walk isn't random. It keeps the crab balanced and stable on any surface. Eyes on stalks provide an almost 360 degree view and some species can detect polarized light, seeing what humans cannot. If a crab loses a claw, it can regrow it, fully restored after just a few molts. Armor, levers, panoramic vision, and regeneration. Together, they make the crab one of nature's most efficient survivors. Even in the age of plastic, crabs have found a way to survive. The ocean floor is covered in trash. Plastic bags, nets, bottles, metal. For most creatures, it's a catastrophe. For crabs, it's just a new environment. They hide in cans, live inside bottles, and hermit crabs choose bottle caps instead of shells not because they have no choice, but because they adapt faster than we destroy. And if humanity ever disappears, they will remain, crawling among the ruins of civilization in a world that has once again become their home. They've survived everything the planet could throw at them.
fire, pressure, cold, and even us. Some live near underwater geysers, others climb trees, and some hide among our waste. But the essence is the same, a form that works. The crab is not just a species, it's a solution, tested by millions of years, a symbol of survival, persistence, and adaptation. While humanity searches for its future, the crab simply moves forward, in its perfect body, one that never needed to be changed. Thank you for joining me on this journey. The world of crabs reminds us that life doesn't break, it adapts. If you enjoyed this video, support the channel. Leave a like, subscribe, and write a comment so I know you want to see more stories like this.